popular demand from India and our international audience as well. Today we are with a special one of the world's most revered, sought after and admired new age energy healers, Mr. Pankaj Gupta. What do you have anxiety in the day? Or do you have anxiety? Or do you actually feel when you make up in the morning that I will get out of the day? If you have any of these symptoms or any of these emotions, fear not. But up please, this episode, see it carefully and properly because we are going to change your life with Mr. Pankaj Gupta. Great to have you on The Big Idea. I don't know if I said you Namaste or hi, how are you? Thank you very much and <laughs> Namaste to you and Eva also. But I must tell you that you are back by popular demand. That's right. Everybody wanted you, whether it was India or whether it was internationally. So you have to say thank you. Thank you. You're yeah, welcome. You're time welcome. Nikala you're welcome. It's all my pleasure and thank you for having me back. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So Pankaj, um, just a little historical background. जब आपने शुरू किया पंद्रह साल के ऊपर से पहले, you had one or two maybe clients or people that you helped to heal. Today, you have amassed almost like a pipe piper following of thousands of people world over. So there's neither fear, anxiety, worry, apprehension in your DNA, in your vibrational zone. हमारे साथ शेयर करें। Well, that's right. I started this work as a hobby primarily. You know, as you well know, I come from a long line of engineers. I was trained to be an engineer. I spent more weekends in factories than I did playing cricket. But <clears throat> when I discovered energy healing, and EFT especially, and I discovered that it could actually change my life, it really got my attention. And being an engineer, I studied it. And then I needed people to try it on. I needed my lab rats. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> the guinea pig, so to speak. <laughs> So my lab rats were my friends and my cousins and my aunts and uncles and that's how I began learning and I gained much more confidence in what I did. And I just did it on Sundays as a service to anybody who wanted to learn, anybody who wanted help, anyone who was in pain. And then my popularity reached a point where I really decided to stop everything else. I gradually shut down all my other businesses and this is what I started doing. Now, like you said, over the years, my business has grown internationally. I have, uh, my biggest problem is handling too many currencies. Can you okay? imagine? Who would have thought? Right. Now, you may say, well, Pankaj, there are other businesses who have grown so much. And I say, yes, but the difference is that I did it the lazy way. Wow. I never had a marketing plan. I never had a business plan. Yes, I never had did. a marketing team. Oh, you're joking. I'm, I will time employee. Okay, yet workshops happen all around the world, from Australia to Canada to South America to you name it. To Europe. Yeah, exactly. You know, so and that's the secret I'm going to share today. Yeah. Okay, that how do you live a life where you don't put in this much effort and get this much result, but where you put in this much effort and get this much result? That's the big idea. Wow! Wow! That's amazing. That's heady and intoxicating. Okay, so how did it happen for you? Kesi wa, and like we had discussed the first segment, EFT is the energy meridians all over your body. It is the energy pointers that exist. I mean, like it's it's almost incomprehensible that it can be these energy meridians and points that can actually manifest such greatness. Correct. So the energy meridians are only part of the story. You see, the real story, what I discovered. With scientific study, I would say, is that it's our vibrations or our feelings that bring about the outcomes of our life. It's not our actions. Okay. Emotions, people say that. Emotions are okay. uh, feelings. Okay. And emotions and feelings both have vibrations. Okay. Vibrations is just another word for a feeling. Right. A feeling that you feel in your body. Okay. So um, our viewers can also try this. You know, it, it, it's it's very important to understand vibrations. 
-hmm. Okay. So I want you to okay. say something out aloud and mean it. Hmm? Uh -huh. Say, don't be late and mean it. Okay. Say, okay. don't be late, Pankaj. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And now mm -hmm. I want you to say, please be on time. Okay. Please be on time, Pankaj. Did the two feel different? Yeah. Don't be late and please be on time. Okay, so the don't be late was a little uh, aggressive, sorry. That's right. With a negative intonation. <sighs> please be on time was a little bit deferential and, and it pleasing. It was softer. Softer, Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So, <clears throat> if you say don't be late to someone, he will be late and it's not his fault. Because you already decided that, believe it or not. That's, that's worth understanding because your vibration was not at peace. And if you say, please be on time, you're more relaxed, you're more hopeful, you're, and he will be on time. And again, he gets no credit or blame because you already decided that. Now, the key is to okay. key, take charge uh -huh. of your vibration. Oh. Okay? And that does not mean suppressing your emotions, but it means the free flow of energy. So I want to repeat, you're saying take charge of your vibrations without suppressing your emotion. And what was the but? The, the free flow of energy. Understand what the free ah, flow of energy is. Ah, the free is. flow of the internal energy. Yes, because we are energy first. You know, yes. when we die, our body is still there, but yes. the energy leaves. Yes. And it's that energy connection that we are really seeking. Because when, that, we, when we are connected to that energy, we are happy. When we are connected to that energy, that energy serves us. So I just want to give you an example. I got a phone call last year from one of my students in Australia. Okay. She said, I'd like you to come to Australia to conduct a talk. Okay. I said, okay, tell me more. She said, it's 15 minutes mm. and we won't pay you. Oh. Okay. Now look at her audacity that she called me in India. Oh, wow. She said, come to Australia for a 15 minute free talk. <laughs> I okay? love it. To a bunch of uh, business women. Okay, okay. I said, fine, I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow. Okay. Now, the reason I wanted that one day was to check my vibration because I understand that it's not the action, it's the vibration that will give me the outcome. So why do I want to go to Australia? For business. Okay. This is Expand, my work. grow. This yeah. is my work. You Impact know, just like people. you work, everybody yeah. works and okay. you work for money and an income and this is how I earn my money. Huh. The flip side of it mm -hmm. is that there is an opportunity cost. Wherever I am, I'm working, I'm earning. So I don't have to go. I'm not sitting idle. Okay. Isn't uh -huh. it? Uh -huh. So is it worth my while? Huh. Okay. More than even that. Now that's how a business would assess it. What's the risk? What's the return? Okay. All I did was huh. assess my vibration. That am I at peace with it or not? Or am I worried about losing money? So your, your two elements to assess your internal vibration was peace or worry? Peace or worry. Ah, exactly. Analyzing it. Yes. So, worry is something you feel, right? Okay. I may lose money. Yeah. Okay, just like we said our statements yeah. earlier, I may lose money. Okay. It could be very profitable. Okay. It could open new opportunities, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Where was I? And I fixed my was vibration. Was it like a weigh scale? It's almost like a okay. weigh scale. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, I checked my vibration, I uh -huh. fixed my vibration, uh -huh. I relaxed into it, and then I knew that it's going to be a lot of fun. I called her, I said, I'm coming. And they weren't paying for the ticket, nothing? Nothing. The okay. stay nothing. Nothing. Amazing. Share with us. Okay. And a business okay. class ticket from India to, to Australia. Australia is not cheap. Oh, Hotels yeah. there are not cheap. Okay. <laughs> and the whole time yeah. I could have been earning in India. Isn't it? Right. It's a long trip both ways. I announced workshops there. Okay. Just around the talk so people could sign up. The okay. day I left India, one person had signed up for the workshop. That does not even cover two nights at the hotel for me. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, when I went there, we uh -huh. did the talk. Okay. To make it short, I had to extend my stay by 10 days. That's how much work I had. And You're over, not serious. I can show you my <laughs> reservations, I can show you my passport stamp. My and God. my biggest problem there was okay. how to carry back this much cash. Okay? Okay. So I encourage people to pay with their credit cards, to pay by PayPal and so on, but a lot of people pay cash. Okay. What was the secret there? The secret is controlling my vibration. The secret is reaching such a deep level of trust and relaxation that you are taken care of no matter where you are. Okay, now for a layman, how do they reach that level? They're at work, something irritates them, they're at home, the children irritate them, the husband. How do you reach that level? There are two ways. 
One is an immediate way, you know, an immediate way could be as easy as taking a deep breath and relaxing. Is it that, that yes, yes, uh, beneficial? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay. And the other way is okay. what I teach in my workshops mm -hmm. uh, through the tool called EFT or tapping. Yeah. That by tapping, you can remove your fears, your anxieties, your worries, okay. and you automatically reach a space of ease and joy. Yeah. You, you Which is where health is well. Exactly. <laughs> and once you're at ease and joy, then even your health is fine. Because right. as you know, that more and more health problems are caused by stress. Yeah. Yeah. So if you can erase your fears, you, you are not only healthy, but then you become successful. And if you raise your anxiety, you become successful. Absolutely. Because the only thing that's stopping you from your success is fear. The only thing is that's stopping you is fear. And handling fears, confronting fears is very difficult, even if it's a fear of a cockroach. Oh. Isn't it? So for someone who's afraid of cockroaches, it's, it's a big deal. It, it, it's a big deal. Correct. And we are all afraid of failure. Many of us are afraid of success. We are afraid of humiliation. We are afraid of losing money. We are afraid of losing our standard of living. Shame, are, yes, it, yeah, exactly. And these are the things that are stopping us, nothing else. So would you say that when I went to Australia, I was completely fearless? Yeah, so what were you at? Yeah, because that's just I the was best. completely fearless. Oh. I, was com I was not worried about losing all this money that I was spending. Okay. Okay, and I know, I have understood that this energy is infinite. We are not limited to this body. The energy is infinite. All energy is infinite. No energy can be created or destroyed. And even money is energy. Yeah. And just like you use electricity to generate heat or light, yeah. you convert money to, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you convert energy into health and into wealth, into relationships, into joy. And when you block this energy, you get disease, you get relationship problems, you're stressed, you're unhappy. Yeah, you lose your money, yeah. you become, wow. After seeing the last uh, episode on The Big Idea, I got a lot of inquiries from people who are in business. And s some people who came are at senior marketing positions in large companies. Okay, and I asked them, that you've been marketing for 20 years, do you know what the perfect marketing plan is for your product? They said no. Do you know what the perfect pulse is of the market? They said no. It works or it doesn't work. We don't know why. That's a huge gamble. Exactly. Huge risk. Exactly. So what do you know? For 20 years, what do you do? You just roll the dice every year, every year, every year. That's not what's happened in my business. My curve has been going like this. So literally from the time you started, you know, over a decade and a half ago, you've just gone out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And, and that is not just my story. It's the story of a lot of my students, a lot of my clients who follow what I teach. teach. And what I teach is effortlessness. Effortless. It's not hard work. It's a beautiful word. It's very appealing, but how do we even maintain that equilibrium? Effortlessness does not mean sitting under a tree and, and dreaming. Beautiful. Effortless doesn't Beautiful. mean just being lazy. Beautiful. Okay, effortless just means no struggle. Right now, most of us are spending our lives struggling. We're 80, 90% of our time is spent doing things we really don't want to do because we are in survival mode, which is a fear-based mode. Again, fear comes in, okay? So ease means to be in trust. Ease means to re-educate yourself, to understand nature, what this nature is and how it's here to serve us. That increases your level of trust. And the more you trust, the more it serves you. The more you trust, the more money you get. The more you trust, the more the right kind of people come to you. The less you trust, the more the wrong kind of people come to you. Okay, so the people who worry the most are the people who struggle the most. Look around you. Look around at the warriors around you, the, the warriors at home, the warriors at work. The they're the ones, works, yes, they call them. they're the ones who keep saying, oh, see, this went wrong and that went wrong and he didn't do this and that person didn't do this. Okay, and the happy-go-lucky ones actually have figured it out. They're, they're not lucky. They're smart. They're happy. They know how to remain happy and things work and we call them lucky. There is no luck. That's my main teaching. There that, is that, that, no luck. That could be another episode. <laughs> Absolutely. Why do you say there's no luck? Let me See, catch you on that. Luck is a word of ignorance to explain that 10 of us worked hard, but only two of us got the results. The best guys didn't get the results. The crooks got the results. <laughs> they must be lucky. There is no luck. It's vibration. We don't see vibration. That's why we call it luck. We don't see energy. Human beings are not designed to see energy. Yeah. That's the secret. Yeah. We don't know that, how to map the energy. Exactly. exactly, that's the secret. So you don't have to see energy, but from now on you can feel vibration. So when you're telling your child to finish their food, what are you vibrating? 
okay? But if you're, if you're relaxed when your child is eating, they will finish their food. Okay, but if you're not relaxed and you're hammering them and it, it's not even the action of nagging them, it's what you're feeling. It's, yeah, the emotion. Yeah, that. you know, oh, my child's going to learn to waste food. Okay. You know, my child won't finish it. You know, he won't be healthy. He'll be spoiled. He'll be this. Okay. Now, those are all worry-based vibrations, which is, which is actually an energy block. Okay, so one of the things okay. which bothers everyone these days a lot, I, I hear that a lot, oh, there's a lot of negativity at home, there's a lot of negativity yeah, here yeah. At, at the office. office, what do I do exactly. with negative when I people? go out, I feel so much negative, when I go yeah. to parties, exactly. I get that question all the time. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, what can you do? The only thing you can do is not resist it. The only thing you can do is understand that my inner peace does okay. not depend on that. Even if it's in my face sometimes. My inner peace does not depend on the outside circumstance. Exactly. I am in charge of my inner peace. It doesn't matter whether you are happy or sad. I care for you, but my happiness is my business. My peace yeah. is under my control. So the first step is to genuinely accept everyone as they are. Even if they're doing something wrong, they're doing the best that they can at that time. Haven't you always done your best? We've all done our best. If we could have done better, we would have. It's not just a matter of knowing better. We didn't have the energy. If you don't have the energy, you will not be able to do the right thing. And where does the component of discipline come in? Discipline is also possible only with energy. I don't teach willpower. I teach wow. effortlessness. When do you need willpower? When you don't have energy. When it's hard for you to come out of bed in the morning, then you need willpower. But what if you raise your energy so you jump out of bed in the morning and you're unstoppable? I'm sure many people I mean, if you think. jump out of bed yeah. one hour earlier, something that you know many of my students do because we fixed our energy, then no one will be able to stop you from going to the gym. So your children, act, sorry, your students actually tell you that you fixed our energy and Absolutely. we're jumping out of bed. Absolutely. Like, wow, that's powerful. Yeah. You know, so, so uh, for example, they may say, oh, we lost so much weight at the workshop, but mm -hmm. we got so much energy, we need less sleep. Now we go and exercise regularly and we're losing more weight. So what's happened? Have they not become more disciplined? Mm -hmm. Are they not taking better care of themselves? Are they not more responsible? But how are they all of that? Because they fix their vibration. They fix their energy first. That is the key. Without energy, you cannot be disciplined. Without energy, you cannot be clear. You need clarity to be successful. You need discipline to be successful. And to be clear and disciplined, you have to have energy. So the only investment... <laughs> it's all connecting the dots. Absolutely. Yeah. The only investment you need to make, the only investment I've made in my business, and you know, you live in Delhi, I live in Delhi for all these years, you've never seen any marketing from me. Never. No marketing, no advertising. Nothing. It's okay? just sheer word of mouth. Exactly. You know and I know yeah. that I've never done any marketing, but it's all a matter of energy that I have allowed this energy to serve me. With this energy, I've been disciplined about my health, I've been disciplined about my work. People feel this energy. When I talk in a room, the room is electric, right? Yeah, I'm Why? feeling that right now with you. Exactly. It, okay. My whole, I'm feeling more uplifted. Right. And, Amazing. Right? And you. you can do the same thing, you can be the same thing. Who do you like when you meet people? It's like electricity. Yeah. Right, right, who do you like? You like the person with the right? Vibes. Vibes, yeah. What's vibes, the full form exactly. of vibes? Vibration. Vibration. What are you vibrating? Very true. Are you vibrating the vibrations of a warrior? Yeah. Are you a chicken? I need so many chickens. Why? Because everyone's scared, everyone's worried. And it's not your fault, we were taught to worry. Yeah. Okay. When we were children, we were taught, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you worried? <laughs> Isn't it? Correct, correct. So, as soon as you go into worry and fear, your vibration dips. Yeah. What kind of people do you like? Don't you like confident people? Don't you like content people? Yeah. Isn't it? A content person is an honest content, person. Content, bubbly, yes. outgoing. <coughs> you're right. You're attracted to that type right. of vibration more. Right. Yeah. So why don't you become that? And if you become that, will your customers not flock to you? No matter what you're selling? Isn't it? If you're content, will you automatically not be in integrity? Will you not work honestly because you're content? Wow. Isn't it? Can you imagine a content person being dishonest? No. What this episode has given you are three key words. Discipline, okay. effortlessness, and energy. Okay, energy makes it effortlessness. And when life becomes effortless, it's easy to be disciplined. And the right things come to you. 
Well, we are all going to affirm for that, Pankaj, and we thank you for taking time out. I do want all our viewers to know how they can get in touch with you, as well as change their lives if they so need it. We thank you for being on the Big Idea. You truly exemplify the Big Idea. My pleasure and my honor to be here for a second time, Neva. Thank, thank you very you much. Thank you so much.